So that's Jeth Vaishi, and welcome to my 24th part of Let's Play Empire Total War, and this is kind of a spur of the moment thing, where I thought I'd show you just a random battle I'm having against the uh, Cherokee Nations, just because I thought it would be cool to have some sort of a Indians versus Indians battle here. So they're shaping up over the plains. And most of them are basically just melee tribesmen of various uh, skill and stature among their tribes. And I don't have a whole lot. I have basically some art. All I have are just line infantry all set up here. Most of them, fortunately, are Sikh musketeers, which are far more elite than my regular line infantry. I don't use them as much because they can only be recruited in one province for me, which is in the Sikh regions of India, so that would make sense. Anyway, I'm going to cut ahead until their armies reach me. So the natives have finally gotten within reach of my musket musketeers. It took them forever, they kind of ran around in circles for uh, a really bizarre amount of time. But they're finally here, and they're moving really, really slowly. I'm not entirely sure why. I fear that they have some kind of ridiculously uh, potent strategy that they're working up against me, but uh, usually that's not the case. But I'm kind of fully expecting to get my ass kicked by the natives, just because, you know, we always underestimate them and maybe they're actually really, really powerful. Anyway, um,. There's still not a whole lot going on. Looks like they're finally, they're finally gearing in for um, some sort of assault. I'm gonna get these guys into box formations because it looks like the cavalry is a coming. And they saw me get into a box and quickly decided that it would be in their best interest to not uh, continue to advance. And meanwhile, on the other flank, uh, we're completely uh, uh, annihilating uh, American warriors there. And uh, I'm hoping that these guys will be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe in melee combat with them. If not, I'll bring in some of the uh, melee troops that came. Because I am defending a city right now against the Indians. I'm going to send some citizens in to, to help. So the battle is continuing to rage. As a, but we've got a pretty good handle on things it looks like. Um, most of their guys charged at my lines and were un unable to make any real progress because uh, my units were standing comfortably still. And so most of them, f yeah, most of them have futilely charged and are retreating. And uh, I better save this regiment. It's under under strength. There's a small battle going on here, and it looks like they lost, so I'm just going to have them charge and get rid of these guys. But other than that, the natives aren't doing so hot. So yeah, we're just kind of shuffling about, taking care of any uh, regiments as they come along. And yeah, I don't think the Indians will be able, will be lasting too much longer. 
against my continued onslaught. Yep, well, most of their uh, frontline regiments have broken and ran, and there's not a whole lot left which, which they can fight me with, so it's going to be over pretty quick. Look at these poor saps. I kind of I have them completely surrounded on every angle. And they're trying to continuing to fight desperately. These guys are medicine men, so they're uh, they're elite soldiers, and they'll fight to the bitter end. But I'm surprised at how handily uh, I'm defeating the natives. Usually, the natives are like a pain in the ass to beat, especially when I play when I played through as the British. Um, they gave me some they gave me some troubles, uh, but that was mostly at the beginning stage of the game where my units weren't technologically advanced. And there, there, there comes the last general, or well, their only general, I suppose, to try and attack me. And I got these guys in the box formation just as he came, so. He's trying to run away. I'm hoping that I'm going to catch the general before he gets away. I'm going to continue for a little bit to see if I can catch him. Doesn't look like it. But anyway, that's victory. And there we have it, a clean victory, losing six, about 600 troops at the expense of about 1,200 of theirs. And we completely wiped out the natives, but they're back, apparently. And, uh... What the hell, I suppose I'll show you this battle too, but that'll be my 25th part of Let's Play Empire Total War, so stay tuned for that. Oh, uh, it's going to be Joseph Isaronovich Stalin signing off for now, and join me in a couple seconds where I'll be fighting yet another battle against the Cherokees.